Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, the formation of W, X, Y, Elliott wave, a pattern, examples. Alright, the W, X, Y, Elliott wave pattern is uh, a very powerful uh, corrective wave, usually occur after an extended motive wave. All right, so when we see one, two, three, four, five, especially on a monthly chart, you will see the WSY wave. So the first part of that corrective wave is the W. Now, in theory, they say to us that uh, the W cannot be a triangle. It can be a zigzag. It can be a flat correction. It can be any type of correcting wave except a triangle. Whenever I hear the word cannot be, I smile because the financial market sometimes will do something that people are not expecting. The X wave is uh, a multi wave that has failed. It's a trending fair that has failed. So for traders that do not know about the WX wave, YouTube search the phrase playlists of WSY wave by 24 Elliott waves YouTube channel. There is a playlist about the WSY wave. So I'm not going to annoy trader that have been faithful to me and I'm repeating myself again one more time because we want to talk about one specific example. All right. The S way is a multi way that has failed or a trading fair that has failed because first, what is happening, which is normal, okay? So there was a trend, all right? And then maybe you see a zigzag pattern or a flat correction, all right? And then you are thinking that, okay, we're going to have a new trend. It's normal. So trending far, correcting wave is completed. People think that the area wave cycle is finished. Or people are thinking also that an area wave cycle is completed so that's why they start pushing it out but that trend that is starting forming the S couldn't complete the structure of a trend i'm not going to go over that again i will refer you back to the playlist if i remember i'll put the playlist in the okay in the link in the, the description session but if i forget you have to you to search it all right that's why we have the s so Multi way, currency way completed, people say, all right, there will be a trend, people start buying. So the trend couldn't be completed, forming the X wave. Because the trend has failed, we will have another currency wave. So we already have the W, now we have the X. And now, because the S is a trend that has failed, people say, oh, the trend has failed. So we've already, now a correction, another correction is beginning again. That Y, that's what we call the Y wave. Y for Yankee. Right? Are, you, are you getting it? Maybe, especially for new traders, they will say, why is he talking about this guy? Okay. With his funny accent. All right. That's what we are talking about. W, S, Y. That's what we are talking about. Okay. Can you see on the chart? Okay. So the first leg, is W. All right. And the second leg is X. And the third leg is Y. According to the earlier way theory, all right, they say to us the Y can be any type of correction wave. Expanded flat correction, classic flat correction, all right, zigzag, triangle can be any type of correction wave. Okay? But one thing you need to understand, all right, one thing you need to understand is that when you see W, S, Y, and you see one correction wave is completed here. Suppose you see a zigzag here. Don't think that the correction is finished. The correction can be prolonged again. You may have a double, okay, W, S, Y, wave. Correction can be prolonged. So don't think that it's going to be only three sessions can be prolonged. Sometimes people, we, we, we use the theory in a practical fashion. We think that, okay, it's, it needs to be three. But sometimes you see, you see a W, then you see your X, you say yes, then you see another correction wave, and you think that the correction is finished. No, but that, that Y wave can be another complex wave. 
or another combination. All right? So, talking about uh, the formation of WSY way. All right? The formation of WSY wave in your wave pattern. Example, we are looking at the British pound, New Zealand dollar. Now, for technical trading, I need to remind you that if you want to trade this currency pair, it's very, very challenging. First, your broker will be asking you for a lot of money for your stop loss, and also it's quite volatile, and uh, it's not for, okay, children, so to speak, all right? It's for mature traders. All right, so I need to mention that before you start uh, running and trading and uh, waste your money. We don't want you to do that, okay? So what I want you to do now, because uh, you are my friend, look at this chart and tell me what you see. What I'm saying to you is that look at this chart and see whether there is an earlier way pattern that is being formed. Okay, so I'm going to give you now one minute. So you may say, Joe, who are you to give me one minute? I've been training earlier way for years. All right. We are with four our friends. We want to. <laughs> now, all right. So, you see. So, so, all right. So, look at it. Just, just look at it and see what can you come up with. What can you see? So, the challenge that what I'm saying to you now, now, the, the reason why I want you to look at this chart is that you see this chart now myself personally speaking you can see that, uh, that this is one thing you need to bear in mind especially if you are using area way is that keep looking at the, the chart and uh, at the same time as i'm talking to you all right you see i have data from 2009 only now, as an area way trader using data like this you need to take that into consideration otherwise you can make all kind of uh, mess and this is affecting a lot of area where traders they don't even know because they don't have enough data. Anytime I see a data like this, 2009, this, I'm no straight away that I'm missing a lot of information. What did happen before that? So here it is. I don't have any information here. So if I'm working with this kind of, uh, okay, unlimited data, I'm very very careful. In fact, I put question mark on everything that I'm saying now because it would be nicer to see, okay, more information on this chart. So, but that's all I got now. So, with the limited data that I have, because if another trader have enough data than myself, I say, Joe, what you are talking about it doesn't make any sense at all. Well, it makes sense with what I got here. Or so. Suppose that the information that we have here is, is enough. What kind of area we pattern did you come up with? All right. Okay. So it looks to me like uh, maybe I'm just thinking, all right, maybe there was a trend before or something like that, something or a prime move before. And this looks to me like a correction. All right. Probably came down big time from 2009. This is quite recent, isn't it? It's a shame that I don't have uh, all this data here. That would be great. So it, it looks to me that this is uh, what I would prefer to call, looks like a, the formation of a W is completed right here. All right. And then if you, if you stay with me, please, even if you disagree, stay calm. All right. Don't, 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 don't start bashing your computer. All right. And this session here looks to me, this is the X. That's what I'm talking about. The formation of W, X, Y, we see this one. See how it starts running? So you see, oh, 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 oh. first wave and then whew, come down. It's a real failure. See how they come down? Shh, shh, shh. Denial. This is a denial. See, it went up like this. They push it back down very fast. It's a denial. This is the, this is the fail, real failure. Of a training phase. People were people say breakout, they were calling this one first wave. And the people were expecting second wave. And now it's failure. You see here, here people were expecting second wave to catch the third wave here. It's a failure. Big time failure. X. Alright. And now look at that. But the X did not happen anyway. You see it's a resistance. 
So if you want to know where the SVM, draw the resistance, it's a resistance here. Now, another thing we need, I need to mention very fast, when you have, you identify the W way and the S and the, and the price tag going, so the price tag going up here, people are thinking of a trend, they are not thinking of X, they are thinking of a multi wave because if there was a trend before, and they see W, they are thinking that, oh, all right, Okay, the correction has now finished. All right, now we are expecting a new trend. So they say fast wave and they start counting. What well, you need to remember, which I talked about before, how to combine in your wave and a Fibonacci pattern. Do you remember that? So as the price going up here, look, that's what I want to show you now. I talk about, check out that video, how to combine in your wave and Fibonacci pattern or something like that. You see? All right. So. The price came down from here all the way here and start going up. It stopped at 61.8%. You can see this one here got a tail. It was coming near, all right, the 78.6% level. Now, those are Fibonacci pattern traders, okay? Looking at this structure here, they will be thinking of what we call ABCD. All the back. Yeah, those are Fibonacci. They are the one pushing it near the seventy-eight point six percent. So the seventy-eight point six percent is there. There, they were trying to push it there. So this is one thing you want to understand. Whenever you see a multi wave and a correction is completed, and you are expecting a new trend, remember the Fibonacci pattern. Remember also the X. Okay, the crab pattern, the bat pattern, the butterfly pattern, or the gatley pattern. So here they were thinking of the gatley pattern. The gatley pattern will stop at 78.6% of the XA. So I'm talking about SA, that's a something else. I'm talking about SA is about Fibonacci pattern. So if you want to know also more about Fibonacci pattern, which you must know if you are trading in your way, because it will help you a lot. Uh, check the playlist of Fibonacci pattern by the Pro Traders YouTube channel. Something like that, alright? That will be useful to you. So the X has failed, you see now. You know, as soon as we know that this is X, what are we expecting? We are expecting another correcting wave. So you can, it's easier to trade which one? The Y wave. And remember, as I said before, the Y wave can also be a complex correction. So this is why I'm recording this video, so you can get it full dry. So see, now we expect another correction, which is here. It's a zigzag, you see here. Okay, now one, two, three, three. Now we couldn't see the internal wave, which is sometimes you will see now, then three like this, okay? So w s y and now is this a trend this is it so people will be expecting a trend now because they say w s y but one thing people shouldn't forget you know after calling this y you can have again another x okay right from another failure because the fundamental okay will determine whether this thing will go up and form a new trend or not so we can have another failure again, which can be X, and then we have again, all right, another correcting wave. So in that case, the first WSY wave becomes one correcting wave, and the X will be connecting it with another correcting wave. The X wave always connects two correcting waves. The first correcting wave can be even a WSY wave on its own, and another X may be formed, and then we may have another correcting wave that may not be a, another WSY wave, maybe a triangle, maybe a, a flat correction or something, or zigzag or something else. So here we are looking at this. We see WSY wave. That's why we say the wave count is one step at a time. You see? So is this a trend? So you have done your work as, uh, okay, in your wave analyst. So this is what's going on. So, you are building a house, okay? So you call uh, the electrician to come in. The electrician come, he will do his work, yes or no? 
All right? But the house is not finished. This is about okay using area wave. At this stage, you have done your work. You see, you've done your forecast, you look back, you look forward, you do all your things, you've done it. What's next for the house to be completed? Other people should be involved. You should use other tool, all right? This is what I'm saying. Are you getting what I'm trying to say here? You have done your way as an earlier way trader, okay? Now, what's next? Now switch your attention to the price. Look here. Look careful here, okay? Look careful here. You see this last session of the price? You see this last session here? Hold on, please. I want to remove a line. Good. I was talking about this last time, the last portion of the prime. See this one, so it went down, blah, 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 but this is the last leg. So remember, the last lap. Anytime price goes up, you see on this one, this is the last lap of that move. It's so important. All right. Anytime price goes down or whatever, the last portion of that price is so important. So when we apply Fibonacci extension to that last portion, I will apply it from the closing price to the closing price. I explained this before. Sometimes I put it from the top to the low. But let's apply Fibonacci extension from the closing price to the closing price. And I want you to pay attention to. So that's the W. That's the last portion, the last lap of the W wave. Look at the where is uh, that uh, critical uh, key level, 138.2%. Fibonacci extension, you see that? Okay. The blue line, you see the blue line? That's the one three. Can you see one three eight point two percent? That's the blue line there. Can you see one three eight point two? That's it. Yeah. By applying Fibonacci extension to the last portion, that's where the price did stop. Can you see that? So then from there the price went down forming the X, but when they were pushing it down very far, canceling the X, one, two, three. 138.2 per share level. The price failed to find a resistance below the 138.2 per share level. So we say when a financial instrument is going down, the next challenge for the price after breaking below the prior low is which level? The 138.2 per share Fibonacci extension level. That's what's up again. So that's why people are buying now. Okay. All right. So at this stage, what do we do? We just concentrate on the price. Your technique, your job is done as an electrician. Your job is done as an earlier way trader. So now people, see, you see, they push it. There's a resistance there. You see there's this resistance. People are acknowledging that resistance. All right. Okay. All right. So I don't want the video to be too long, right? I don't want it to be too long. So you just do everything else that we discussed before. Okay. What to do. Okay. When well, an earlier way trader does not know what to do anymore. That's the latest video. So you just go through the normal okay thing that you should do as a, a chart this. Draw line, okay, map it out, okay. All over the place, map it out. It's your chart, just map it out and trade on the edge of key level. As I said before, all right. All right, just map it out. You get it now? And trade at the hot spot trading zone. Trade on the edge of a trend line, trade around key level. Just look for trading setup around one of those key level. Okay. Break a ball, retest it around, and so on. All right. So here we are. If you look a little bit deeper, we can also see that some traders, charters, will be thinking of what? Okay. An inverted head and shoulder chart part of some of them. So we're calling this one there. The left hand side shoulder, and then maybe maybe those I'm saying maybe all right, those of those traders may be expecting a pullback okay into this zone here. Will he do that? Maybe 
You just flow with it, okay? Before they may say you go up, but at this stage, so talking about uh, day trading, string trading, just throw it in the channel now. It's a tiny channel there. And then trade it on the edge, okay? Without uh, assuming anything, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today about the formation of W, X, Y wave, a pattern, example. I hope uh, you will find this video also useful, all right? And uh, we put it into use uh, to make an excellent uh, day and swing trading decision as always all right if you think this video has been useful to you uh, and you want to put it to you just use a demo account practice practice until uh, you master it one more time it is not easy to trade a british pound and new zealand dollar uh, if you are okay a new trader uh, you may want to skip okay uh, that currency pair and look for something that is easier Okay, a true trade. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, well, uh, you know what to do. Mark it down. <laughs> All right. If you think uh, this is an essential tutorial uh, that can help uh, other traders, uh, feel free to share with your friend uh, on Tumblr. Okay. Google Plus, Twitter, and also on Facebook. All right. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. It is free. Our channel is 24 Elliot Waves, digit 2, digit 4, Elliot Waves in plural. Subscribe today and click on the notification bell. It's now so important to click on the notification bell. Do you know why? Because uh, we have uh, another function on this channel, uh, the YouTube Premiere. So when we, sometime we will be showing a video live as like a, similar like going to film. So you will receive a notification telling you what time the video will start and you will be there and you'll be watching it as we are streaming it out live it's not a live trading but it is a live okay streaming okay video uh, like you go to film you don't watch the film in the middle of nowhere they start showing you from the beginning to the end so if you do not click on the notification bell you know when those uh, premiere youtube video will start all right also if you're watching this video on facebook all right subscribe to our youtube channel it's two four idiot waves all right if you are watching on YouTube, okay, our Facebook page is stochastic-macd. The reason why you want to know where, what we are doing is because sometimes I may post video first on Facebook before posting them on YouTube. Sometimes I post them first on YouTube before posting them on uh, uh, Facebook. So you want to know what's going on if you are interested. Right? Happy to to you all. And I will speak to you soon. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about the formation of WSY, idiot wave pattern example. Thank you for watching.